when you go and join any of the companies you will be hearing this two jargons I can see the two jargons are the two words projects and the products anybody has any knowledge what is a project and what is a product Requirements coming from the particular company or from client side. Uh, sorry, Eita, can you please say again? Requirement coming from particular company. Uh -huh. it, it's called project. And okay. Product is like customers are going to have every right on product. Okay. So the first word, what he said is correct. When there is a specific requirement from the customer and you are developing a software for that, that is basically the project. Like say an example, yesterday's example about uh, last 10 transaction, that is a requirement from the customer. So when you, are when you are developing the software for that last 10 transaction of the bank, of your statement, right? That is basically the project what you do. And what happens like uh, the product managers or the business analysts who are responsible for the requirements and market studies they see along with this last 10 transaction can we make it a flexible that the not only 10 the user can see I from 0 to 30 days of 30 30 numbers of transaction so what you're trying to do is you're trying to customize they're trying to customize the same requirements so that the multiple users can be used or the multiple customers can be used. So when you're customizing or when you're enhancing that particular feature which can be used by the multiple customer, that is basically your product. And sometimes the project products these are very similar it depends on the company to company but if you go for the definition when a particular requirements or the software is been used by multiple customer that is basically a product and when you are making a software that is being used only by a specific customer that is a project is it clear yes yes yeah is i'm going too fast slow or how it is or it's good uh, normal because see this is the first task so I just wanted to like be on the get some input so that it will be good for rest of the classes as well it's, good. it's normal okay so Jamie when you when you are developing something for a particular customer that is basically the project when you are developing something some product or some software which can be used by multiple customer is basically a product is it clear Jamie thank you so if you see the project life cycle how it works initiation or the initialize initial phase you can say the planning executing monitoring and closing monitoring and control and then closing so initially what you do is like you get the requirement from the customer you try to understand the requirements okay the last 10 transactions we have to develop for this particular customer they analyze the requirements they check the feasible like is it feasible to make it then if it is feasible then they go ahead with the planning in the planning what they do is they do basically design like how it is be how it will be the how we'll be developing the software. So they do the designing part, and then then the developer starts coding and the tester starts testing. That is what it's called as executing. So once all the development and the testing part is completed, it is it goes to the customer where the company starts monitoring and control where the 
company starts monitoring about the product, like how the product is being used by the comp uh, by the users or their users. Once it is going smooth, they'll close this project. So, and when it comes to the product, it's completely based on the market studies. They see like, okay, these new enhancements, when we go and introduce in the market, what will happen? What will be the market growth of our product? And what time you would think after 10 years, 15 years, thus becomes matured or no longer be required by the users where you have to get rest of the features or we have to enhance the product. So based on that, they decline and take the product out of the market. Like I say an example about the Windows XP. Windows XP was running all the year. But last year, the window XP is out of the market because the features, because the way the customer wants it, right? They wanted some different features. They wanted how to have some different look and all, which Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista, they are giving it. Slowly, the window Vista will also be out of the market. So that is basically completely like you introduce something in the market, you see like what will be the growth and how long it will run and then you take a decision to take off the market. That is basically the product. It's basically on the market studies. Any questions, any doubts? Geeta, Shruti, Sindhu, any doubt? Jamie? Yeah, no doubt. No. Okay, so you understand the difference between the project and product very well, right? So yeah. these these are the terminology which we'll be using generally. Like say an example, Shruti might be working on like when she goes and uh, in any of the company, joins any of the company and the company says like, hey, you're going to. <laughs> yes, Jamie, what you said is correct. Uh, instead of person, we have to mention about the customer, okay? So when Shruti goes and joins in company and the care manager says like, hey, Shruti, you're going to work on this project. Hey, Shruti, you're going to work on this product. So these are the terminology which are generally been used. So if you see, that is a big picture, like when you are started working on any of the product. We have already seen the difference between the quality control and quality assurance. Uh, Shruti, uh, not Shruti, uh, Sindhu, can you explain me about the quality control? Sindhu? Sindhu, can you hear me, Sindhu? Shruti, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you please explain me what is the quality control? See, no problem at all, like even if you don't get anything, right? That's fine with me. Uh, I can explain to any time, but uh, uh, Vinny, I can't, I can't see any uh, response from your side when I was asking about the quality control. I'll come back to you. Yeah, Shruti, go ahead, Shruti. Quality control, like you know, uh, like if you want to buy any products, uh, we have some requirements, so uh, we have to ensure that you know uh, everything is good. Okay. We check whether product is like, uh, closer to the requirements or not, the requirements from clients. Okay. 
Uh, you're pretty much close, but uh, looking for something else. Not a problem on that. <coughs> uh, quality assurance here will need to make sure uh, uh, quality meets the requirement. Is it correct? We need to make sure that the quality meets the requirements, client requirements. Yes. Uh, Gita? Uh, quality control is actually a series of uh, testing activities carried on the developed product to check whether uh, it meets the customer requirements or specifications. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, Tina? Yeah, quality control is a set of activities that are to be done to make sure the the quality of the product is not compromised. Okay. So when anybody asks you in interview, can you please explain what is a quality control? So the way you have to answer, okay, or the way I see it has to be answered is quality control is actual software testing where you execute the test cases where you execute the code and the main objective of the quality control activity is to find the defects before it releases to the customer. Do you have to repeat or is it clear? Um, can you tell me? Yes, can you repeat again? I can't hear your voice properly because there's a lot of breakage from your side. I don't know what is the problem. I'm not sure, uh, Shruti, because I don't see any, prob any problem uh, coming from rest so uh, that, that's fine we can we can work on that no problem I can repeat you uh, okay. so the when somebody asks about the quality control right in interview you have to mention quality control is basically the actual software testing where you install the software you execute the test cases and the main objective of the quality control process is to find the defects before the product is released to the customer. Is it good, Shruti? Yes. Is it clear and simple? Yes. It, or anybody wants to add anything to what I said right now? Uh, Jamie, I'll come to the QRL parts later, which is there in the site. Okay? Yeah, thanks, Jamie. So we have seen the quality control. Can you please explain? Anybody explain? Okay, I'll go to Geeta. Geeta, can you please explain what is quality assurance? Mm. Quality assurance, uh, like uh, uh, this, um, like execution is not conducted. It's just like a kind of uh, going through the requirements, uh, specifications. Okay. Just uh, like re reviewing the documents, etc. It's not actual test execution. I'm happy, I'm happy like you have understand the concepts. That is what I am looking for. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The how to answer is leave it up to me. I'll explain like how to answer that. The basic thing is to understand the concepts or not. It's for everybody. If you understand, if you understand the concept well, it's my responsibility to put that in the particular fashion or the statement. That is my responsibility. Uh, okay. Uh, Kirti, can you please explain what is quality assurance? Kirti, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Kirti?
can you please explain uh, i can't hear you anything kirti can you please speak out something yeah hello yeah, yeah. sorry hello. can you please explain like what do you understand by the quality assurance actually your voice is breaking can you please explain what oh, yeah, is quality assurance is the whatever the project we are uh, yeah so the project which we are making we just wanted to assure whether we have made the good project or not whether it is satisfying the customer's requirement or it is working properly or not okay uh shruti hello yeah thanks kirti uh, yeah uh shruti yeah yeah okay sindhu can you please explain what is quality assurance yeah it is described in performance maintainability uh, reliability is it correct no sindhu tina okay Yeah, for me, I will say quality assurance is the process of making sure that the standards and procedures, whatever were implemented forward during the product execution, we are followed properly and the software is working as expected. Yes, that is correct. So, Sindhu, it's basically a process where you are not executing any of the code, what Geeta said. You are not executing any code, you are not executing any test cases. it's only the verification or the validation of what you have done during the development of the product like have you followed the process have you followed the company standards have you or the or international standards when i say standards okay what does a standard means when you go and buy any of the television on in the shop right so on the back of the tv okay or back on the television there will be a sticker saying tested okay on some of the parts and on the other side it will not be okay and you see on the box that will be mentioned okay this company is iso xyz standard the other product company they will not have the standard so which one you will buy i have for standard ones exactly because it has been tested properly it has followed the process it is safe to use that's why the company yeah standard means that is maintained with you right exactly so each company will have their own standards their own procedures own process which is in line with the international standards so during the development of the product the company or the quality assurance people make sure they have the proper documents in place like when i say proper document in place when the requirements comes in after the requirements evaluation is done the business requirement document has been prepared the software requirement specification document has been prepared that is the first step and when this two document is in place that will be circulated to the development team as well as to the testing team so development team start design start developing a functional specification document about how the product is going to work on how the each functionality or how the each module will be working on the testing team picks that functional requirement documents or the software requirement specification and start writing the test scenarios test cases so if you see this is a proper process if the company don't follow the process they will end up in developing a wrong product so the quality assurance is basically a step to verify the process procedure standards guidelines which are being used to develop the product are correct and properly implemented and how do you achieve it you achieve it with the help of inspection walk through meetings informal discussions etc is it clear now 
Yes. Yes. So the quality assurance is a process or is a steps to validate the process, procedures, standards, the guidelines which are being used to develop the product are correct and properly implemented. And that can be achieved with the help of inspection, walkthrough, meetings, informal meetings, discussions, etc. All right, Jimmy. Yeah, thank you. So if you see the quality control and the quality assurance, so can you please spend two minutes, one minute of time to understand what is this and tell me what you understand from this slides. Uh, quality analysis is the uh, maybe uh, hello yes yes go ahead. Uh, yeah quality assurance maybe when your product is uh, when your project is is uh, you are when you are working on a project and the quality control will be the after when the project is developed so maybe the quality analysis is the precautions and the uh, quality assurance is the precautions and their control is after the project is built. So I think uh, it's uh, before the project. Yeah, so, hello? Yeah. It's yeah, for me, I think the quality control is. Hello? Yes, Tina, go ahead. Yeah, quality control is being done on the product itself because we're gonna we wanna make sure that there is no defect on the product, and quality assurance is gonna be done on the procedure of making the product, like the process of making the product. So correct. That's that's how I I see it. Correct. Uh, Sindhu, you are saying something, I guess. Yeah, correct, Tina. Okay. Sindhu? Geeta? Yeah, I think it's the quality assurance is the process uh, is the process followed before uh, yeah. actual testing process. No, it's, it's, it's not like it is before the testing or before any of the activity starts. This is an ongoing activity, okay? If you see the STLC, right? The STLC is divided into six different phases and each phases will have the documentation in place. So the quality assurance is basically the continuous process which has been running through the product life cycle. Okay, okay Sindhu? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, Sindhu. When we are developing a project, we uh, company need to make sure. Hello. Yes, go ahead, Sindhu. I can hear you, Sindhu. Project company need to make sure whether the. Uh, sorry, give me one second. Yeah. Um, Hello? Hello? Yes, tell me, Sindhu. Hello? Yes, yeah. tell me. Uh, during the development of the project, company need to make sure uh, they are maintaining certain standards or not according to the client requirement. Okay. Uh, Is it correct? Uh, it's somewhat correct, but I'll explain like what this particular slide sees. Okay. Uh, Shruti, uh, okay. you can join the next next class. 
uh, no problem you can ask Monica for the video and uh, for any communication right I'll be available on my email ID so if you have any doubts any questions you can drop in a mail to this mail ID uh, uh. yes yes Shruti uh, can't continue today. Actually, I have uh, some internet issue here, and I'm not able to. I'll join by tomorrow. Sure, sure, no problem at all, Shruti. <coughs> and for any information or anything, you can drop me. Anybody can drop me a mail on <coughs> qa at mightsmap dot com. I'll be keep on regularly checking my mails and responding to that. All right. So these slides explain about the quality control versus quality assurance. When you say quality control, so what you're going to do? You're going to do a testing part, right? So the testing part where you're going to execute the test cases or, in so, or installation of the software. So that is basically done on the product or the project. Where you do the reactive measures whenever you find any of the defects or any of the functionality is not working, you go ahead and lock the defects. So the quality control is basically for the product and the main main target or the the main target is to find the defects before it's released to the customer. That is what the software testing is. And quality assurance is basically for the process where you try to we try to validate all the things should be in the place so that you prevent the codes or sorry you prevent the defects so how do you prevent the defects you make sure like you have the design documents in place you have high level design documents and low level design documents is are in place explain the each and every functionality very clearly so you are trying to prevent the defects before it goes to the testing team to test the software this is basically the proactive measure and the earlier one was like the Q quality control is basically the reactive measure. Is it clear? Any doubts, any question? Yes. Jamie, Geeta? No. Any doubts, any question? this line function and this tab function this is basically the line function when you say the line function it is basically the part of the testing team when they are executing the test cases okay that is basically lines and the staff function is basically it's a responsibility okay it's a responsibility of the particular team or the particular team members to complete his or her responsibility that is what it says a staff function when I say design right it is the responsibility of the development team to have the design document in place so that is what it is basically you need to make the quality assurance people need to make sure that this is this responsibility is completed very well and the outcome of this are in placed so it's basically they are just verifying everything is going well that is what the quality control uh, quality assurance is assurance, yeah. is that answer your question yeah great so Quality control is basically for the product and the main focus is to find the defects. Quality assurance is basically for the process and the main focus is on the process, procedures and guidelines. Because why I'm stretching more on QA and QC is basically in interview they generally ask, can you please explain about QC and QA or verification and validation. This will be the first question you can expect in the interview. 
and the quality controls has the quality assurance has a criteria against which you evaluate the software that is basically the correctness efficiency uh, flexibility maintainability portability reliability reusable testability usability so these are basically the criteria so when you say like okay your software is qa certified or how you say like all the process the qa the quotation is process completed that is based on the correctness how your software or the product is efficient how it is easy to maintain how you can portable to, or the portability issue the usability the way the product you have designed is it easy for the user to use so these are the basically criteria which you use to evaluate your software and the template and the quality control process works on four different points plan do check so when you say the quality control process in the plan what you do is first you are preparing a plan like how you are going to proceed ahead okay how you are going to proceed like you have the functionality which needs to be tested you have a plan in place okay when during the test we have 50 test cases which need to be tested this has to be tested on windows 7 windows 8 or any other operating systems with ie 10 chrome firefox browser so what you are doing is you are first basically you are doing the planning the way when you wanted to go for any vacation what you do you plan so that is what the plan is then to define the parameters for a quality like okay if this number of bugs are found the quality of the product is not good you are just defining the parameter you are not doing anything and then what you do is you start executing the test cases which is nothing but you are checking you're checking okay the stage to verify if the quality of the parameters are made and how you do that by executing by installing software in the check step and during the act if you found anything which is not working you locked it with defects that is what take corrective action if needed and repeat the work so once you see like something is not working as per the customer requirements you go and log a defect so the quality control process works on plan do check act it's very similar like when you wanted to plan for a vacation right what you do is first you plan then you say like okay then you say if i have to catch a flight in the evening i'll be reaching there in the morning so what you're trying to do is you're setting the parameters which flight will be suitable for you which flight or the which destinations will be easier for you to, to reach and based on the cost as well then once you are once you set this parameter what you do you start booking it you start booking the hotel you start booking the taxi you start booking the air tickets and what you do then you fly is it clear yes so this is exactly what you do in the IT company when you start working on the product or any of the company this is what you do in the testing phase not only in the testing phase this is applicable for the the process I'm talking about this is applicable for the developments or any other activity during the project uh, during the software development life cycle so the next important and the confusing points comes in what is a verification and validation Gita can you please read the first paragraph verification is a static practice of verifying document design code and program it does not involve executing the code it is human based checking of documents and files verification uses methods like inspections reviews walkthroughs and desk checking etc so can you please tell me like what is verification is related to yeah like uh, like reviewing the documents like verifying the requirement documents 
I think okay. walk through some instructions. So what 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 is which is the process which we have seen early or learned early? We are <coughs> referring for the verification. I think that's quality assurance. Assurance QA. Oh. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Kirti, can you please read the next paragraph? Oh, yeah. A validation is a dynamic mechanism of validating and testing the actual product. It always involves executing the code and it is a computer based ex execution of program. Validation uses the methods like black box testing, gray box testing, white box testing. ETC. So what, what is this process we are referring to? The validation is regarding the product, so it is the control, the quality control. Exactly, that's good. So in interview, they are trying to kind of confuse you. Can you please explain the difference between the verification and validation? Is verification is a quality assurance process? Mm, yeah. Is very validation is a quality control process? So these type of questions you can expect. Okay. So do you think any anything needs to be explained out here because it's pretty straightforward verification is basically what you do for the correlation process validation is basically the actual software testing which is related to the quality control process okay yeah uh, Kirti can you please share your mail ID and the phone number because I don't think so I, I should be having yeah okay. thanks Kirti can you please share your email address too I've shared in the chat window uh, Tina, it's uh, QA at the rate mindsmapped.com. Is it clear? Everybody got my mail ID? Yeah. Yes. Great, thank you. Uh, just read these slides for a minute and see you are able to understand what is verification and what is validation why well, I'm studying more because more confusion comes from this part so whenever somebody wants to explain about the validation they just go and explain about the verification so that confusion needs to be clear So this is basically the same what we have seen about the process, procedures, documents, standards, which needs to be uh, uh, verified in the quality assurance process. And that is basically the activity which keeps on going uh, uh, during the, uh, what do you say, uh, during the complete phase of the life cycle. And the validation is basically you are executing the code you are executing the test cases and the main target what you see is to find the defects before it's released to the customer and here on the fourth point sometimes the tester also does a verification they they verify like the test plan the test strategy document the test cases the test scenarios are in place or not but most of the time it will be done by the developers because they hold most of the things like uh, their design documents, the flowchart diagrams, the codes, uh, uh, different functionality documents, they hold that. So most of the time they will be doing that. So is it clear? Anything needs, anything is difficult to understand here on the slides? No, it's clear. Mm. Great. So this is how the verification works and more, sometimes this is called as a V model as well. So if you see the green part, the green color is basically your software testing life cycle and the white, uh, the blue one is basically your software development life cycle. So there is a difference between software testing life cycle and software development life cycle. And you see on the left hand side, the complete verification process in place on the right hand side you see the complete validation process in place where you are performing actual testing 
this is bizwash requirements analysis software requirement analysis design high level low level so this is how the verification and validation process works so any questions any doubts till the topics what we have covered and i don't have any assignments for today's class so there will be an assignments for the friday class okay any questions any doubt okay can you go on the last slide we know yes yep the second one you say it's software testing life cycle yes <coughs> nobody ask about the difference between what is sdlc and stlc uh, correct i know the first part is done by the developers and the second one is done by the qa No, it's not done by the developer. You're talking about the SDLC? Yeah. No, it is not done by the QA. It is done by the complete project team. But the activity which are involved will be done by the developer, the project manager, the product manager, the business analyst, the tester, all will be involved in that. And I did not forget about like the diff I need to explain about the difference between SDLC and STLC. I'm just waiting for this question to be come from your any of your end. So anybody knows what is the difference between the SDLC and STLC? Yes, let me tell you. Like for the soft for the software testing life cycle, are the procedures that are to be followed when testing the the software if it's working properly. But for the software developing life cycle, these are the stages of developing the, the software. If I'm not correct. You're pretty much clear uh, or very near to that. Can anybody explain else, uh, exp uh, provide other inputs, any other inputs if you, ha if they ha if you have? Uh, I think software design life cycle is the steps which we uh, usually use for designing any project like the implement requirement, then the design implementation and then testing and lastly maintenance. You're talking and, about uh, STLC. STLC. Oh yeah, yeah, the first one, yeah. the design life cycle. Yeah. And the second one, it is the life cycle which comes under testing part only. It may be the consist of the test plans or the test cases which they use in testing. Pretty much near. <coughs> Thank you for that. Uh, SDLC part you understand very clearly. And not to worry on that part like SDLC, STLC. This we are going to have a separate topic because there are different models about the STLC. So that will come in picture when we talk more about the software development life cycle and all. So software development life cycle is basically a proper or the step by step process of developing any product. And that has six different phases. First is requirement specification and analysis. Second one is design. Third one is coding, testing, implementation, maintenance. So if you see these are the six different stages from which the product goes before it released to the market and that is basically the step-by-step -step process and <coughs> sorry and each stage each resource or the each team member will have a certain activity or the certain role to be performed the software testing life cycle is basically this done is provided or it has been designed by the QA manager about how the testing process will be going during the testing life cycle. What kind of testings they will going to perform? What kind of documents we are going to have? Because document plays an important role in any of the project activity. 
because that is a reference which anybody refers and understand like okay this things has been done very well if the documents is not in place the product what you are testing or the product what you are building will not be correct so from the document perspective functional requirement documents is important and that needs to be understand very thoroughly so that you design the test cases and test the product so software testing life cycle explain you what are the different testing you are going to perform during the testing phase and what are the different documents or the artifacts needs to be prepared during the testing stages is it clear do you see the difference yes yeah any questions a doubt no great uh, I'm not able to understand your question uh, can you please repeat as uh, I'm sorry I can't I can't uh, pronounce your name as well as the two aside to you ask me something right in the chat Can you please speak? No, they are not. I think he's. I mean, whatever he 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 or she. I think he is asking about if the software development life cycle and the software testing life cycle is are done, done at, at the, the same, same time. But the answer no, is no. No. See, software development process is basically a big picture, and software testing life cycle is one of the part let me go and explain uh, show you the simple uh, presentation what I have for the SDLC so it will be more clear uh, uh, when I say the testing part so that is only during the testing phase Yeah, Jamie, uh, we are done for the today's topic. We can catch you on Friday. Thank you so much for joining the class, Jamie. So if you see this, yeah, sure. So if you see this, this is basically your, your SDLC. You're planning, defining, designing, building, testing, and development. So this is, sorry, planning, development, testing. It has to be go this way. So... So if you see this is basically the six stages which I have mentioned earlier about the software development life cycle requirement analysis system design implementation testing deployment maintenance so when I say STLC STLC will be done here but the define will be done any of the stages or here itself only or whenever the status needs to go or whenever this thing is happening implementation is happening you make sure you have that software testing plan in place which is nothing but your test plan so they are not done at the same time software testing lifecycle is a part of the SDLC is it clear great thank you so much uh, uh, can you please uh, share your mail ID and phone number as well? Any other doubts? Any questions? Hello. Sorry? Uh, just a concern. Uh, do you suggest uh, maybe if you should have other material apart from this, maybe books? Instead of books, I will say like you can search over the net. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you can search over the net or you can go through the slides only. Some of the uh, terminology which might be the new at the first, because this is the first class, 
but when you go to three or four class you'll be more comfortable when you are frequently using this terminologies all right okay. any other questions all right no uh geeta kirti sindhu shruti uh, no, no. great so we'll end the today's class here we'll catch on friday okay at the same time okay. yeah. and uh, we'll share a new link with all of you which is going to be the link for the complete classes all right, all right. i have your all your mail id so i'll be sharing the link or monica will share the link for the uh, uh the classes the the link to attend the classes and that will be the same link which we are going to follow toward the complete of the class Thank you so much for joining the class. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, you do that. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.